It's a thunderbolt, Doc Linus. Who the flip cares? This guy. This is not a thunderbolt, Doc. This is the thunderbolt, Doc. The TS5++ from CalDigit. It not only supports Thunderbolt 5, which, yes, my friends, means up to 120 gigabit per second in boost mode, but it supports 250 watts of power output, 140 of which can go to charging your laptop, and the other, about 105-ish, can go to powering your other devices without taking away from the power that it's providing for your laptop. <laughs> and in order to do that, they needed the Mac Daddy of power bricks. Look at this friggin' thing. 330 watts, my friends. Wow. Oh yeah, because I guess it needs even more power to power like all the other stuff in addition to the charging. That's freaking wild. And uh, boy, is there ever a lot of stuff. Okay, hold on a second. Let's get the unboxing part complete. Ooh, comes with a nice little braided Thunderbolt cable. Rated for up to 240 watts. Thunderbolt 5. Love seeing that nice, clear labeling. Also feels quality. All right, what else we got in here? Okay, C13 power cable. Not that exciting. Oh, but that's what we're here for. Oh my God. <laughs> look, okay, look. I know my hands are not exactly, you know, the best to get the idea of the scale of an object, but this is not the size of a Thunderbolt dock. This is the size of a whole flipping computer. Look at this thing. What kind of things will you be plugging in? I am so glad you asked. Let's start at the front. Micro SD, SD UHS 2. So you're gonna get the fastest read and write speeds. We've got a couple of USB-C ports. This one does 36 watts of charging. A USB-A as well as a headphone microphone combo jack. This little indicator right here turns on when you have a link with your PC or Mac. Uh, my understanding is a lot of the folks buying these are more Mac people, but hey, you can have bad taste in computers, but still have good taste in docs. Hey! Hey! I'm just teasing, I'm just, I'm just messing, I'm just messing. Back here at the back, we've got our power in, 24 volt, 13 amps, 10 gig networking. That is freaking awesome. Yes, this is a $500 Thunderbolt dock. It's expensive, but the functionality here is outstanding. It includes a 10 gig LAN port. Awesome. We've got four more USB-A ports, two of which will be fully operational to charge devices even when you do not have your computer docked to your dock. We've got our uplink. That'll do up to 140 watts of charging back to your computer. We'll try that out in a second. As well as two more 36 watt USB-Cs and three more USB-C data ports. Now, one of the coolest things about the USB implementation on this dock is that it actually has a second USB controller. So instead of just using your Thunderbolt uplink to split to all of the various ports on the dock, it actually uses Thunderbolt to PCIe to a USB controller chip that powers some of the other ports. That's how they're able to have so many high speed ports. Really cool implementation. Expensive, but cool. We've also got a line in, I believe it is, as well as a headphone jack, so dedicated headphone jack, non-combo jack, and DisplayPort 2.1. This is really nice to see as well because it allows you to connect the fastest modern displays, I'm talking up to your 500 hertz displays, or even 8K60. And the best part is that's just one of the supported displays. You can also connect Thunderbolt displays at up to that same resolution. In fact, CalDigit has a nice little matrix here that shows exactly how the, man, what is it, TS5++? <laughs> or is it just plus and the little plus is extra? I don't know, that doesn't matter. The point is you can connect a flip ton of displays to this thing, mm, depending on exactly which computer you're using. All right, enough of the theoretical stuff. There's a Kensington lock. Let's go ahead and connect it to something, shall we? Man. Hear that? Quality. These guys don't fuck around. Just like I don't fuck around. 
with our sponsor. Thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Their E7 Plus sit to stand desk is an ultra durable high performance option without the premium price tag. It features four three stage legs that keep things stable, supporting up to 540 pounds while static and being able to reach close to 52 inches in height, which FlexiSpot claims is the highest on the market. It also comes with a 15 year warranty and a 30 day risk free option for returns. Check out the description box to learn more about where to pick one up and how to redeem a 10% off discount on orders over $500. Ah, so thoughtful. You can tell these guys have been doing it a long time. So I didn't even think about this, but of course the uplink is the lowest one because that's the one you're most likely to be fussing around with all the time. So it's the one that you're most likely to knock it over with. This Raider from MSI is the absolute unit of a laptop that we had to use to find anything with flipping Thunderbolt 5 on it. Show me that 10 gig. That's right, my friends, the LAN port on this baby is 10 times the speed of gigabit. That's what they say on the box. Of course, you're only gonna be able to benefit from that as much as you actually you know, are connected to anything that can support those speeds. Most internet connections are not gonna be that fast, but 10 gig can be a godsend when you're transferring large files over the local network or editing off of a network attached storage device like you might be doing on your MacBook or other Mac that is a you know, a desktop computer, but yet doesn't have a ton of IO. This right here, that's your IO box. And you can afford it because you bought a Mac. So I just assume you just have money to burn. Nope, nope, no, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. What do I use my TS4 for? Oh, my TS4 uses an optical Thunderbolt cable to run down to my mechanical room and it allows me to run all of my peripherals, my monitor, everything over that one Thunderbolt link without having to have the noise and the heat of the computer actually in the room with me at the same time. Now, I'm not aware of any uh, desktop motherboards that currently support Thunderbolt 5, so I would have no reason to upgrade to Thunderbolt 5 at the moment, but if I were to do that in the future, hey, I could have even higher speed peripherals and more importantly, multi high resolution monitors running off of this dock. So I think that's the coolest thing about it. What do you think? Can we get Counter-Strike downloaded in a reasonable time? Dang, I think so. Yep, two minutes, let's go. It's gonna take me that long to go get my mouse. We are using all the CPU, all of it. Oh, how's our charging situation though? This giant friggin' laptop, okay, that has a power brick that you could literally make a house out of. Like, look at this thing. Okay, yeah, we're not gaming yet. We don't actually have the GPU fired up yet, but like, dude is running at 100% CPU and is not even complaining about not having a powerful enough brick attached. That is flipping awesome. Whoa, what happened? I might've done something while I was like bashing the table. It stopped downloading fast. Uh, dude, I'm gonna play Counter-Strike while I download Cyberpunk. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I can't even get kills in like casual Counter-Strike matches anymore. Okay, she's struggling a little bit with the game download going in the background. Dude, I wanna see when we're actually gaming, how much power we're gonna lose. Because if we're using more than 140 watts, obviously the battery is gonna drain a little. The question is just how fast, right? All right, let's go. That's Thunderbolt 5 speed, baby. I'm not a power user enough for you. Boom, three kills, let's go. No, bot Conleth, how could you? Look, no, the power is a huge, huge part of this thing though. Like the fact that I can do this at all and my laptop's not just like losing its mind right now. Like I'm at 99% here. Ah, go away. No, stop, please. How much battery did we lose though? Like none, we're at 99%, that's wild. D off a USB-C port, is no one else caring about this? That's on a USB-C port. I, I don't even, I'm not even using this thing. Listen to how heavy it is. I mean, ah. Oh. I guess we could be excited about having a fast SD card port or whatever. Here, we'll copy some footage. Over 200 megabytes a second, are you happy? And I can game at the same time. 
That's right, it can power that card. It could power, I could charge my phone. That's the cool thing, is the power budget is not shared. So now I could be charging my phone and boom, I still have my whole 140 watts for this thing. That's flipping awesome. No, I don't wanna compare it to the TS5. TS5, it's, it's old news. This is new news. You can't be news if you're old. Wisdom. We finished copying your file there, you happy? Yeah. While I launch Cyberpunk, I will look at the TS5. This has two and a half gig, less A ports, 20 watt, 20 watt. What if I need 36 watts? Come on, you don't want this anymore. This is the regular TS5. It doesn't even have a DisplayPort port. Okay, that's actually a downer. Not having a DisplayPort port is not that cool because you can get adapters, like C to whatever adapters, but why would you want to use an adapter? You just spent hundreds of dollars on a dock. The whole point was that it's the one adapter. No, this is the one adapter. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to drain. All right. Why is this running so ass? Dude, I think the power profile is lower. Oh man, I was so excited. I was so excited. I'm still excited, okay? Because 140 watts is still a flipping lot, but I will be less excited if I find out that it's on the laptop side where they'll just kind of limit how much power they'll allow it to draw if you're not actually using the main plug. And it looks like they do. So this is maxing out at like 40 watts. So we're using it, but we're not really using it. I have seen machines where they will allow you to draw as much as you want and it'll just use the battery to augment it. But this is not one of them, unfortunately. Okay, so 140 watts is not enough to run a full fat gaming laptop, but if you had a lighter machine that doesn't have an RTX 50 flipping 80 mobile in it or whatever, then you would be able to do it. Now I said earlier that this is really expensive. That's because it is. It's like 500 bucks for the plus, and then I think it's like 370 for the non plus. But hey, you'll have a Thunderbolt 5 dock, and can your friends say they have a Thunderbolt 5 dock? I didn't think so. Subscribe to Short Circuit.